Alright, so yesterday I was working on this robot and I was chatting with some friends and uh, I ended up adding a negative uh, light, a spot lamp with a negative value to my scene and I came across this really, really strange looking glitch. So this is purely a viewport glitch. If you render it, nothing happens, but it does look a little interesting and a little bit weird. And you can intensify the value if you turn the volume up. This and this gets really bright sometimes. It looks really weird, but like we said, uh, like I said, it's only a viewport glitch, so you will not get this effect in your render. So we started trying to go uh, find ways to go about this and how to make it as a procedural material. It was just, um, so here's the material, uh, as you can see, it kind of makes the same effect, it's not exactly the same, but you can probably change some parameters to get it looking more, um, similar to the other one. You get it looking close to the other one. So if we take a look, this is the nodes that we did. So, well, first of all, I want to split this into two groups, first of all, to separate the outline, the glowing outline, and then the secondary shader, which is just a placeholder shader, you could have texture here with a glowing outline. So if we go inside the node group, out, you can see there's just a couple simple nodes. So first, probably the most important thing is the Fresnel node. Uh, so I put that through a color. So we'll, oh, you can't. So this Fresnel node uh, goes with this color ramp, which basically just brings the values together and makes this line like thicker to thinner. So it's really thick or very thin. And then the next thing we need to have is a multiply node. Uh, I don't actually keep that in there, I don't know why it was there. Um, I think that was because at some point I tried to use an ambient occlusion setup for this. And the next thing we have is a mix shader. Right here we have a secondary shader output, which is where this one comes in. But uh, this Fresnel node drives the mix shader and it mixes with this emission shader and what I did to get these rainbow colors is something that I like using a lot and it's pretty useful. There's a factor output for a noise texture but then there's also a color output so if you use that and then put in a hue saturation value node and just crank the saturation up to like a very high number because this is what it looks like and it is pretty much just a white light. With 10 you can see it's starting to gain colors and then 100, it's very vibrant, so that's how I ended up doing that. And I also just changed the strength up till it was very bright, 500. And yeah, so I can make this shader if you want. You can pick it up on my drum mode for free. I honestly have no idea how this would ever be useful to you. And I, I'm still not really sure why I made this video, but uh, enjoy it, I guess. See you guys next time. Bye!